Hi guys, I'm Takara. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys saw in the title, I am going to be doing an empties video today. And I looked over at my empties box and saw that it was getting super full again. And I don't know how I got that full this fast this time. But yeah, I have told myself that I want to be better about doing my empties videos quicker so that I don't have to talk about so many things in one video and have a super long video to bring for you guys to watch. So I still have a lot, <laughs> um, but some of them are duplicates. So hopefully that means it won't take as long as it normally does for me to go through them. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. I do have a little bit of everything as usual, but I'm gonna start with fragrance since I only have one fragrance to talk about with you guys. So the fragrance that I have here is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. And y'all knew this is pretty much empty because you saw it in my uh, most used fragrances video. So of course, you know I love this fragrance. This is a fruity coffee scent to my nose, a fruity latte scent to be specific, and it's one that I would wear all year round. It's not too sweet, I think, to where it can't be worn in hot weather because it does have a fruitiness to it. It kind of brightens it up and makes it a bit fresher and keeps it from being too sweet to where it'll be cloying in the heat. So like I've mentioned, to me the opening is pretty fruity and the fruit note that I get most in this is that pear note. It is a sweet, juicy, ripe pear note in this fragrance. Almost candied and it also has that latte scent. As I told you guys, this smells to me like a caramel latte with loads of caramel syrup and a few pumps of vanilla syrup. And I feel like that latte um, aspect of the fragrance becomes more prominent in the dry down than it is in the opening. It's a beautiful fragrance. For me, it has good performance, uh, moderate projection, and at least eight hour longevity for me. And yeah, I have already repurchased this and I will continue to repurchase it. So again, that is the only one by Dolce & Gabbana. So next I'm gonna go ahead and do skincare because that's what I grabbed next. And this is another one that you guys have seen in previous empties videos. This is by Thayer's and it is their Witch Hazel Facial Toner, um, Aloe Vera Formula, and this is the Rose Petal Scent. And this toner is alcohol free. The label looks like it's been down through there. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Something probably wasted on it in the box, but um, y'all know I love this. As I've said previously, this is the only toner I use on my face. And I really like using this one because it cleanses my skin and tones my skin without um, drying my skin out. And actually after I use this, it feels, my skin feels plump and hydrated. So yes, I have already repurchased this. I will continue to repurchase it. And again, that is by Thayer's and it is their Rose Petal Witch Hazel Facial Toner. So this next item looks horrible as well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's just dried up uh, sunscreen on the bottle. So don't mind how disgusting this bottle looks, but um, this is by Palmer's and this is their uh, Even Tone Sun Care Cocoa Butter Moisturizing Sunscreen Lotion with SPF 30. And it says it has shea butter and coconut oil. So don't mind the, like I said, that looks horrible, but just for you guys to see the label. Um, and the reason why it looks so bad is because I've had this for, I don't even know how long. It's been years at least. And I've been trying to just hold on to it because they discontinued this for whatever reason. I will never understand it because I loved this sunscreen. Now this is one that I used specifically for my face. I do use sunscreen on my face. All of us should be using sunscreen, but I use this on my face and you know how some sunscreens will leave a white cast. It didn't do that at all. And it left my face looking very glowy and moisturized. So for that reason, I really enjoyed it. And it also blended well with my other skincare products. So yeah, I went looking for this when I was running low. And that's when I realized it was discontinued because I literally could not find it anywhere. I used to purchase it from Walmart. Walmart didn't have it. 
So once that happened, I went looking for it online, Amazon, pretty much anywhere <laughs> um, to see if I could find this, nowhere to be found. I even messaged um, Palmer's on Instagram to ask them about it and they said it had been discontinued. I'm like, why? Why was the reason? It hurts my soul that I can't find this anymore. If I could repurchase it, I definitely would, but since I'm not able to, I guess I won't be repurchasing it. So again, that is Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Even Tone Skin Care Cocoa Butter Moisturizing Sunscreen Lotion with Natural Shea Butter and Coconut Oil SPF 30. A mouthful. <laughs> okay, so to replace that, I picked up another Palmer's item, and this is the Cocoa Butter Formula a skin perfecting moisturizing day cream with SPF 15. It says it hydrates, balances, and protects skin. So when I couldn't find that when I picked this one up, thinking that they would be comparable, don't mind my nails, they look a mess, I need to redo them. <laughs> but yeah, that's so why I picked this one up. And um, this is what I've been using now. So this is an empty, but I've already repurchased it. I do enjoy this, but I do still feel like I preferred just the sunscreen on its own. I don't use this to moisturize by itself. I still use my Cetaphil lotion to moisturize my face. And I use this just as a sunscreen. It does add a bit of additional moisture to my skin, but um, I did used to try to use this by itself to see if I even needed to continue to use my Cetaphil. And I did because my skin would get a bit dry throughout the day which is weird because I have naturally oily skin, but apparently the Cetaphil is doing its job because when I stopped using it, my skin was like, what are you doing? And it started breaking out a little bit too. But on top of the Cetaphil as my sunscreen, it does work well. It also blends well with my other skincare products and doesn't leave a white cast on my skin. So I do enjoy it and it is a decent replacement to the sunscreen since I can't get it anymore. So for that reason, I will continue to repurchase this item as well. So again, that is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Perfecting Moisturizing Day Cream um, with SPF 15. So I believe this is my last skincare item and it's another one that you guys have seen on my channel before. And this is by Lancome. This is the Renergy Lift Multi-Action Eye Cream. And as I told you guys in the previous video, I typically buy um, just a little travel size because this eye cream is so expensive for the full size. But um, y'all know I love this. It moisturizes my under eye area really well without being cakey or causing me to get those little white bumps that I told you guys that a lot of eye creams tend to give me. I did try to switch it up and use another eye cream. I used the JLo Beauty one. It was sent to me through Influencer and it was okay for a little while, but then eventually it started to make my under eye area burn a bit. So I knew it was irritating my skin. So I had to stop using that one and I went back to my tried and true. <laughs> so apparently this is good enough for sensitive skin because I do, my skin is sensitive in general and apparently my eye area is pretty sensitive as well. This works wonders. As you can see, my eye area looks very hydrated and it absorbs really well into my skin. Now, I don't think it does much for like firming and brightening and uh, things of that nature, which is unfortunate. I think that's what's making me feel like I need to find a new eye cream or continue my search because I do want something that has all those benefits, but for now it's getting the job done as far as moisturizing and smoothing my under eye area is concerned. So, I have already repurchased this and I will continue to repurchase this in the meantime. And again, that is the Lancome Renergy Lift Multi-Action Eye Cream. So next I'm just gonna talk about this random item I have here. I think I briefly mentioned this in my last video, but it wasn't an empty, it was just like an aside because I was talking about something in a similar category. So this is by Beauty Secrets and it is the Nail Polish Dryer. That's what the can looks like. And as you can see, it's this big old can. I buy this from Sally's for like $3 and I love this stuff. I've already repurchased it. I told you guys that I prefer this to the, the what's that brand name? I think it was Orly? Nope. I can't remember, but I showed you guys another um, nail dryer in my last empties video that I used up and was like $8 and I felt like it didn't do much. 
This I feel like does help to speed up the drying process. I use this in the same way that I use the other product and after I spray this on, I do usually like um, one layer of spray after I'm, I'm done applying my polish and I've let it dry for a little bit on its own. I'll spray one layer on and then um, I'll go back on top with another layer and that's usually pretty good and my nails end up um, lasting really well and it doesn't, they don't get messed up very easily after I use this, especially with this new polish that I've been using. But yeah, really like this, we'll continue to use it. And again, that is the Beauty Secrets Nail Polish Dryer. And I believe I told you guys I purchased this from Sally's. I think that's the only place that has it. I don't know if Amazon does or not. But um, yeah, I buy this from Sally's for around $3. So next, I'm gonna go into the hair care. And the first item that I have here is by My L, and this is the Mangongo Oil Hydrating Conditioner. And it is protein free. I think you guys have heard me talk about this one on my channel before. I've had this for a while too. I have a lot of deep conditioners at this moment and I've been trying to just work my way through them all before purchasing any more besides my tried and trues that I feel like I can't do without. But yeah, this is a very hydrating deep conditioner as it says. It leaves my hair feeling really soft when I rinse it off and it also smells really good. It has a nice like floral, slightly sweet perfumey scent to it, but it feels lightweight in the hair, so it doesn't leave my hair feeling heavy once I rinse it out. It just feels very soft and hydrated. And if you are protein sensitive, then I think this is a good one to give a try. I haven't repurchased this because like I said, I'm trying to get through my um, deep conditioners right now, but I will repurchase this once I'm done with those. So again, this is by My L, and this is the Mangongo Oil Hydrating Conditioner. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my next deep conditioner, and this is by Aussie. Y'all have seen this a million times on my channel. And this is the Three Minute Miracle Curls Deep Conditioner with Coconut and Australian Jojoba Oil. So here's what this looks like. Y'all know I love this for detangling my hair. I don't use it as a deep conditioner. Um, I just use it for detangling purposes while in the shower. And it has amazing slip. It is a bit moisturizing, not as moisturizing as I like for my deep conditioners to be, which is why I don't use it for that. But the slip in this is amazing. It makes detangling a breeze. So if you haven't tried Aussie and you're not afraid of silicones, then I do recommend giving it a try. It does have one silicone in it. And I'm doing my research, I don't know if that's a uh, water soluble or not. I saw some places say that it was water soluble and some said it wasn't. So I don't know for sure, but yeah, just to be on the safe side, if you don't use silicone, don't worry about it. But if you don't mind them, give it a try. I don't find that it causes buildup in my hair personally, which makes me think that it may be water soluble because I don't always use a clarifying shampoo in my hair. But I love this. Um, and I will continue to repurchase that. I haven't repurchased it yet because I'm trying a new one by them. I'm still gonna feel for it. I'll let you guys know how I feel about that and another empties video because I'll be out of it soon as well. But I will definitely repurchase this. So again, that is the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Curls Deep Conditioner. So next I have a styling product and this is by TG. And y'all have seen this on my channel before as well. This is the, the Catwalk by TG Curls Rock Curl Amplifier. So here's what it looks like. And as I've said previously, this is the only um, bottle that I've tried. They do have a newer version that is in a blue and black bottle, I believe. This is the one that I always pick up because I know I enjoy it. I should try that one one day just to see how they compare. I might do that. But in the meantime, I've been using this one because I know I enjoy it. So as I said, I love to use this for when product washing goes. And if I want more moisture, I'll use a leave-in conditioner underneath it. But for the most part, I use it for when product washing goes. I find this to be moisturizing enough for me to use it on its own unless I'm trying to go long periods of time. But the last time I used it for a one product wash and go, I think I left my wash and go in my hair for about two weeks with this product and it didn't feel super dry by the end of it. Actually, the moisture actually lasted a good, a good while in it. It lasted into that second week for me. So I really love this. It's not heavy. It's one of those products that's gonna give you more 
of a fluffy wash and go result. So if you don't mind that, then definitely go for this because this is not a product that's going to tame your roots, which as I mentioned to you guys, I don't mind that because if my roots are puffy, that just gives me more volume and that's what I like. I like a good mix of volume and definition. And I find that this product does a really good job at doing that for me because it also has great hold even though it doesn't lay your hair down. So yeah. Um, I love this and again that is Catwalk by TG Curls Rock Curl Amplifier. So the next product that I have here is another product you guys have seen. Some of these empties probably seem so redundant to you guys because I, I like to use things that I know work for me and so therefore I have a lot of tried and true products that will religiously be in my empties videos so I hope you guys don't mind that but yeah it just shows you that I, I use what I say I use and I love what I say I love. Um, but anyway, the product I'm talking about is by OGX and this is the Nourishing Coconut Oil Weightless Hydrating Oil Mist. And y'all know I love to use this product to break the gel cast in my hair when I do wash and goes and just to give my hair a bit of extra fragrance and shine. Um, throughout the week if I feel like it. I usually don't really spray it in my hair much unless my hair is straight. I do use it in my straight hair because it's very lightweight like it says and it doesn't make my hair super oily. But yeah, for curly, for my curly hair, I usually just spray it into my hands and use it to break up my gel cast and to also put my hair up in a pineapple at night and to take my hair down and like when I shake it out uh, in the mornings. So I love this. I will continue to use it. It does have silicones, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it does have a silicone in it. So again, if you are someone who doesn't use silicones, then I would recommend staying away from this product, but I've used it for years now with no issue and I will continue to use it. And I really enjoy the scent. Like I told you guys, it's like a warm, slightly sweet coconut milk fragrance that it has, like a realistic coconut milk fragrance. But I really enjoy it. It's not anything that's gonna be overwhelming or too strong. But again, that is by OGX and it is the Nourishing Plus Coconut Oil Weightless Hydrating Oil Mist. So next I have a shampoo that you guys have seen on my channel before and this is by Afog and this is the Keratin and Green Tea Shampoo. And as I told you guys, this is my favorite hydrating shampoo. So yes, I have already repurchased this product even though I have other shampoos that I need to use up this is just one that i don't like to be without because it just makes my shampoo process a breeze and it makes it more enjoyable so some days i just don't feel like being bothered with trying other stuff when i know that my tried and true is gonna get me right so yes like i said this is a hydrating shampoo and so it hydrates the hair when i rinse it out it doesn't feel stripped it feels soft and it lathers up really well on the first rinse which is very rare for sulfate free shampoos i found at least it just feels like it gets your hair very clean when it lathers up in that first uh lather as well as in that second lather so as i mentioned previously as well it does have a bit of slip like i said i don't detangle my hair with shampoo but if i wanted to i feel like i could with this product i love this i buy mine from sally's and it's not super pricey i think it's like nine or ten dollars but is worth it to me and I will continue to use this. So again, that is the FOG Keratin and Green Tea Shampoo. So the last hair product I have here is another shampoo and this is by Texture ID and this is their Curl Clarifying Shampoo. And it says it is for all hair types. So here's what the packaging looks like. Is this the same size? It just looks so much bigger, I guess, because it's thinner and taller but I really enjoyed this shampoo as well. I have been using this as a clarifying shampoo because as you guys know, I do have a semi-permanent color in my hair and it is still fading because it's gonna do that as long as you're shampooing your hair, whether it's a, a sulfate-free shampoo or not. But yeah, I've been using this one and even though it's a clarifying shampoo, it doesn't leave my hair feeling stripped. It does leave my hair feeling clean, but it also feels hydrated once I rinse it out as well. I still don't like it as much as my Afro G, but I did really enjoy this uh, shampoo and I would buy it again. So again, that is the Texture ID uh, Curl Clarifying Shampoo. Oh, it says Plus Honey. Also, 
This one doesn't lather up very well on the first uh, lather. So I just want to note that it lathers up well on the second lather, but the first one, no, not at all. Nothing like the Afro-G, which is why I do still prefer my Afro-G. But yeah, anyway, again, that is the Texture ID Clarifying Shampoo. Okay, so on to body care, and it should be pretty quick because I have some duplicates in here. Uh, I'm gonna start with the one that isn't a duplicate. And I don't think you guys have seen this in one of my empties before or heard me mention this on my channel, but I did really enjoy this and I have repurchased it. So this is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. Um, and this is the Pomegranate Seeds and Shea Butter one. So here's what it looks like. And I picked this up because of um, Kendra from the Glam Twins a while back. And what's crazy is at that time, I wasn't the biggest fan of it because y'all know I use Tree Hut scrubs and I'm so used to them being like extra strength exfoliating that when I get a more gentle exfoliator or when I got a more gentle exfoliator, I was underwhelmed and I didn't think it was doing enough. But then I revisited it not too long ago, obviously, because it's empty now. And I loved it. It's very, um, like I said, it's gentle on the skin. Um, it does leave your skin very smooth, but unlike the Tree Hut scrubs, it doesn't leave my skin feeling super dry once I rinse it off. It actually kind of feels a bit hydrated. And like I said, it's smooth and it has a nice glow to it. And I like that it's very gentle. It doesn't feel like rough on your skin while you're using it. And if you've used the Tree Hut scrubs, you know they can feel a bit rough. They are a more heavy duty scrub for sure, but it's not like super rough on your skin when you're using it. The sugar crystals are pretty large in there. And this, this kind of just has like exfoliating uh, like beads in it, or maybe it's seeds actually, like I said, it's pomegranate seeds that are used to exfoliate. And they're a lot more micro, so they're not rough on the skin at all. But I did really enjoy this. I have repurchased this one and I did purchase another one as well. I'm gonna give that one a try. I'm assuming they're gonna have the same strength, just different scents. But I did really enjoy this scent as well. I actually went on the hunt for this particular one. Um, I actually went to Walmart looking for it because that's where I got this one from the first time. And they didn't have this scent. All they had was the oatmeal one and some other one. And I didn't like how those smelled. And that's a big thing for me when it comes to scrub. And I need to like how it smells because I'm gonna be smelling it while I'm applying it all over. I use my scrubs all over my body. Well, not all over. I don't use it on my lady parts, but um, I do use it everywhere else. But this scent oh, is so good. It smells like a creamy, milky pomegranate scent. And the pomegranate is sweet in this. It's not super tart and sour like we know pomegranate juice can be. So it's kind of like, it kind of smells like maybe what a pomegranate milkshake would smell like to me or a pomegranate smoothie, something like that. But it's really nice. And like I said, I've already repurchased this one and I will continue to repurchase this. I like to use this when I don't need a super heavy duty exfoliation. So this is one that I can use more often than I use my tree hut scrubs. I use them at most three times a week, but I usually use them about twice a week. This one I'll use, honestly, I would use this daily. If I feel like it, I don't, but every other day would be fine with me. Um, I don't feel like it would be bad on your skin if you use this daily. I feel like it's gentle enough for daily use. Anyway, again, this is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish uh, with pomegranate seeds and shea butter. So next we're gonna get into my in shower lotions, which you guys know I love. I'm gonna start with my Jergens cause you've heard about them before. Actually, you heard about both of these before. But this is the Argan Oil Wet Skin Moisturizer. And I also have the coconut oil one here. And I already told you guys I love both of these and I pretty much just buy whichever one I see because I feel like they both work great. They both leave my skin uh, looking and feeling very smooth and glowy, um, which I love. And they don't feel super heavy on the skin. Like it says, it's weightless. Also these, you do not have to rinse off, which is a plus because I know some people hate rinsing off there in shower lotions. But yeah, I don't think I need to say much more than that about them. Like I said um, previously, the moisture from these lasts all day. And I like to use these for daytime showers because they are a bit oily. They don't feel heavy, but they do leave a bit of oil, a slight bit of an oily residue on the skin for me. 
And I don't like how that feels when I'm sleeping, my thighs rub together. <laughs> So I like to use these in the daytime. But yeah, again, that is the Jergens Weightless Wet Skin Moisturizer and the Argan Oil and in the Coconut Oil. So I missed a makeup product actually, which will be another one-off product. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that one before I talk about my last in shower moisturizers. And this is just the NYX or NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil. And this is just an eyebrow pencil that I like to use. It may not focus on it because it's so small. So yeah, I use this one religiously on my brows. It isn't super dark. There's a little bit left in this. <laughs> um, yeah, but it doesn't make, this is in black actually, but it doesn't make my eyebrows look too dark or anything like that. My eyebrows are like a, a black, I think. They're probably like a 1B. This kind of just matches my eyebrow color perfectly and it doesn't look too heavy or they don't look too done up and filled in, which is my preference. So again, that is by NYX and that is the Micro Brow Pencil in Black. I have repurchased this already and I will continue to repurchase this. So next I have the rest of my in shower lotions and these are my Olay ones. I'm gonna talk about the one that I haven't talked about yet first. So this is the Olay Nighttime Rinse Off Body Conditioner with B3 and Retinol. Here's what that looks like. I picked this one up when I picked up the, the Retinol Body Wash by Olay. I actually picked up that body wash because of Jasmine Bullard. She used it in one of her body care videos and I wanted to give it a try. And this is right next to it. So I'm like, well, I might as well give this a try too because I know I love the other, uh, the coconut oil Olay Rinse Off body conditioner. I knew this one wasn't gonna have the mica in it, so I wasn't gonna get that shimmer, unfortunately, <laughs> but I still wanted to give this one a try. And so I use this for nighttime showers, as it says on here to use it for, because it's supposed to, let's see. It says, Olay's Rinse Off Nighttime Body Conditioner made with retinol and vitamin B3 complex infuses skin with concentrated moisture overnight to help stop dry skin before it starts. So I really enjoyed this. I don't find it to be super different from the coconut oil one, but I do feel like it did leave my skin moisturized for longer. Uh, by the time I get up in the morning when I use the coconut oil one, uh, my skin usually feels like it needs uh, more moisture by that point. This one is still felt like it was a bit moisturized in the morning, so I guess it is doing what it was supposed to do overnight. So yeah, I really like this and I would repurchase it. It does have a very, lotiony scent <laughs> if that makes sense it almost smells like a hair product like a, a salon hair product that's the type of scent that it has it's not my favorite scent but i do like what it did it left me feeling moisturized these are rinse off so you do rinse them off afterward and because they're only eight ounces i find that they don't last as long as my jergens do which are 10 ounces and also I don't have to rinse them off, but I do still enjoy them and I will continue to pick them up. As I've said previously, the Olay ones make my skin feel moisturized and supple. So that's why I really enjoy them. The Jergens ones leave my skin feeling moisturized and looking hydrated and glowy, but they don't leave that, that supple feeling that I get from the Olay ones. So I really like these for nighttime use because of that supple feeling. I just feel really soft and and moisturized and like clean and cozy when I use these at nighttime. And also these are rinse off conditioners so they don't give me that whole thighs slipping and sliding together <laughs> while I'm sleeping uh, effect that I get from the Jergens ones. So again, like I said, that is the Olay Nighttime Rinse Off Body Conditioner with B3 and Retinol. And the last ones I have here are the coconut oil ones which you guys have heard me talk about and know I love. These they look like I have two of them. And these have that mica ingredient, so they do leave a gold shimmer on your skin, which I really enjoy. Um, I think these are being discontinued, if I'm not mistaken, which is very unfortunate. It's harder to find these now, they're not in store. I actually have to order a pack of these. I ordered a six pack off of Amazon because I prefer this version. I like the gold shimmer in it and I want that. I don't think any of the other ones have a gold shimmer. They are still moisturizing like this one is. Well, I haven't tried the other ones, but since I tried the retinol one, I'm assuming that the other two are moisturizing as well since they're not far off 
as far as moisturization is concerned, but I do really like the mica. I guess I can do without it because I have other products that can give me that golden shimmer that I like, but it was just nice to have it in one of my body conditioners. Yeah, anyway, like I've said previously, it's moisturizing. I love to use the Olay one specifically for my nighttime showers for the reasons I just gave you with the previous one. And like I said, I really love the gold shimmer in this one. And the scent of this one, it still has that lotion-y scent, but it's more of a, like a creamy coconut scent. Maybe like a creamy coconut milk scent as well. Not quite like the, the OGX, cause that's a bit less creamy, a bit more sweet. This one smells more like a, a coconut milk lotion. But I like how mellow the scent of this one is. It doesn't interfere with my other fragrances or anything like that. That one doesn't interfere either. The retinol one doesn't. But I feel like it's a bit stronger than this one is. And so it projects off of the skin more. But yeah, love these. We'll continue to repurchase them if I can find them. <laughs> um, but if not, I'll just move on to the other uh, body conditioners in this line. But again, that is the Olay Rinse Off Body Conditioner with B3 and coconut oil. Okay guys, that was it for this video. Let me know which products you guys have used up or which products you guys have been loving right now. And yeah, ask me any questions you have down in the comment section as usual. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.